Unreal Engine 5.6 brings big updates to in-editor animation tool sets, enabling you to animate with greater speed, precision, and control. Let's take a look at some of the features, including updates to sequencer, curve editor improvements, tween tools, motion trails, and more. To explore the updates, so let's first pull up Unreal Engine 5.6 and open up a sequence. In the sequencer, you can toggle the sequencer navigation tool icon for access to higher level organization to better manage complex cinematics with large hierarchies of shots, subsequences, and cross sequence bindings. Here, you can also sync animation, dialogue, and effects using real time audio scrubbing. Develop your audio further by using the experimental scale relativity feature to enable sequences to match the timing from different languages. And lastly, use the mute and solo track options for quick local changes. Now let's dive into the new updates featured in the curve editor. First off, this window has been improved for performance. Fine tune for artists visualizing and manipulating keyframes. You'll see a new lattice tool, smart key snapping, and more. Now let's explore a tool that has officially made its way into the toolbar for quick access, and that is tween tools, which can be used to adjust the interpolation between selected keyframes or their neighbors in a variety of ways. And now tween tools has new hotkeys. Press the U button and left mouse button for indirect manipulation. Hold down Shift and the U button to toggle sliders. And press Control and the U button to toggle overshoot mode. To better visualize and adjust arcs and spacing you've made in the sequencer, you can use motion trails. Activate them with the new icon in the viewport and explore the styles and pinning systems available. You'll see here that you have a few pin options and can set your trail style to dashed, time, or heat map. With motion trails turned on, you can even select the keys and adjust them in the viewport. Another way to control animation movement that has gotten an upgrade in Unreal Engine 5.6 is seamless gameplay transitions for cinematics. As a part of the new Unreal Animation Framework, Sequencer has a new experimental plugin called the Anim Mixer. Within this plugin, there is a new stitch track that uses motion matching to determine the best animation to transition from dynamic gameplay. The Anim Mixer allows you to mix tracks that produce an animated pose in a priority order. Overall, giving you better control and support for root motion animations. To bring additional realism to your animations, check out Control Rig Physics, which allows you to procedurally create physics setups with nodes for characters. To get access to this, make sure you turn on the Physics Control plugin by going to Edit, Plugins, and searching Physics. Next, let's take a look at some advancements to the Skeletal Mesh Editor. In Unreal Engine 5.6, you can quickly sculpt shapes during runtime and easily edit pre-existing morph targets thanks to Unreal Engine's built-in modeling tools. To access the Morph Editing Tool mode, you will first need to enable the plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins, search for Morph, and you will see Skeletal Mesh Morph Target Editing Tools. Turn this on and restart your project to explore the new features. Now this wraps up some of our favorite new animation features within Unreal Engine 5.6. To see the full list, check out the Unreal Engine 5.6 release notes. These updates are a huge step towards engine-first animation and rigging workflows, reducing the need for DCC round tripping. With this, we hope you save time in your workflows and continue to create extraordinary animations in Engine.